Hey, thanks for checking out my video. I shot this footage day after Easter in a little town called Lake Elizabeth. It's located 45 minutes north of Santa Clarita, just west of Lancaster. I came up to see the poppy blooms and I'd heard that the lake filled up with water. And I had to see it for myself. In years past when we've had some heavy rains during the winter and spring, you'd see some flowers here and there on the hillsides up here, but nothing, nothing like this. And as long as I've lived up here in Santa Clarita, I've always known Lake Elizabeth to be a dry lake bed. And so to see it now filled up with water is, is pretty incredible. It, it says a lot about the amount of snow and rain that we've had this year. This area used to be really popular with lots of recreational activities, boating, fishing. They had a beautiful RV park and a beautiful golf course that I played 20 years ago. But since the lake dried up, those, you know, activities dried up with them. It's mainly, you know, an area we come up uh, to ride motorcycles. There's lots of beautiful twisty roads and nice views. If you ever come up here, it's, it's, it's worth a visit. You got to eat lunch somewhere, so you might want to stop at the Rock Inn. That's in Lake Hughes, located about five minutes west. It's a beautiful place. The cool thing is, this place is not usually on your list if you're looking to see wildflowers. You're probably going to Lancaster, or Elsinore, Brigo Springs. But you should check this out because it's located just 15 minutes south of the world famous poppy fields in Lancaster. I actually went and got some footage of those fields out there after taking this footage. But this winter we've had a lot of snow on these hills and the runoff has filled up this lake. It's a perennial lake, meaning that the water in it is fed from either rain or runoff. And it's also technically not a lake. It's technically called a sag pond. And a sag pond is defined as the lowest point of a depression between two sides of a fault zone. And that fault zone happens to be the San Andreas Fault. Pretty incredible. But like I said, to see the lake like this, and I always knew it as like this, this shot taken in 2018, is pretty incredible. And then to think that this is on the San Andreas Fault is, is, is crazy. I can imagine those homes when I was flying over were probably initially sold as Lakeview homes. To think of all the industries that have dried up, people losing their jobs, I'm, I'm hoping that this, this lake stays this way and, and that some of these industries come back. The golf course looks like a soggy mess. You can see the clubhouse down there on the bottom left. I remember this course to be a, a really fun layout. It's pretty sad to see it look like this. On this flight, when I turned around to go back, I gained some elevation to see kind of a higher view and it was pretty spectacular. Compared with the shot in 2016, you could see the dry hillsides, the dry lake, and that little red circle is where I launched from. And then as I pan to the north, you can see that orange glow up there. Those are the poppy fields of Lancaster. I went up there and got footage on the same day and it was amazing. So if you're up in this area, you should come up and give this area a look. You'll be glad you did.